Are you guys excited? Where are we? Are we at the park, Millie? Are you ready to get out? You ready to go for a walk? Angus, are we at the park? Alright, let's go see who's here. Angus and Millie were very excited to come to the park today. A lot of whining and excitement in the back of the car. We'll come out about midday today because it's actually much cooler than it has been. It's only about probably no more than 20 degrees Celsius. So, and it's supposed to be absolutely pouring down with rain later. So we thought we'd get out while the weather's still nice and get the dogs a bit of exercise. We'll try that again. We had to take a little break to deal with some Angus business. Luckily, he chose not too far from the bin to do his business, so that was handy. It's actually a beautiful park here. They've got the sports fields here, and they actually carry on quite a ways over that way. It's actually a really big park. Um, this part where we walk is dog friendly. Um, but over here, they play rugby and they've got soccer fields and they've got a, an astroturf over there for, for uh, hockey as well. So weekends, we don't generally come here because it's pretty busy with kids playing sports. So, uh, But during the day and weeknights, it's pretty much all just dogs this side of the park anyway. We've probably talked about it before but this park it's actually called Park Island so before the earthquake most of the uh, area between the place that we live in Taradale and the main city of Napier was underwater. Uh, when the quake uh, basically lifted the, the ground up, um, the water all receded and we gained uh, a bunch of extra shoreline and uh, the little borough of Teradale was suddenly attached to Napier. No longer had to access it through just a bridge. Oh, I think this is rolling. Um, and yeah, they've built homes on it, and we've got this lovely park. So, yeah, a lot of interesting changes after that quake in 1931. I'm certainly glad to have it. Ingus will be getting a bit tired now. We just met a lovely little puppy named Marley. She's just a sweet little thing, full of energy. And they played chase round in circles for some time while Millie sat and had a little treat. And then just after we've walked off, just seen that Marley went and got straight into the mud. So Marley's mum's gonna have a bit of a a bit of a time on her hands getting her cleaned up before she can go back in the car. Oh, look at this little guy. Not so little actually. Go and say hello. Hey you guys. Who's that? <laughs> They're a little bit tired, so we stopped for a little rest and a cuddle in the shade. When I'm tired, I don't usually like to cuddle up to people, but when I'm hot anyway. But Millie is quite the opposite, she quite likes a, a cuddle with her lie down. Angus is quite happy just to have a little rest sitting on his own. Oh no, he's coming in to cuddle too. There's not much space between them there. They'll be spooning in no time. Good pups. We'll have a little rest and then we'll head on home, shall we?
It's been a great day for meeting dogs. Come across another little Shih Tzu, which was nice. She was pretty keen to have a bit of a play and chase. Yeah, I think Millie's happy to be in this shady part. I, thought, I didn't think we'd see this many people out and about when we're uh, this time of day. It's probably about 2 p.m. So, yeah, 2 p.m. So, it's still a bit warm out, but yeah, like I said earlier, it's not really a hot day, so it's still nice and safe for the dogs to be out and about. And this is exhausted after playing with those puppies. What do you think, Angus? Have you had a good time? So we start heading home. Alright, come on, let's go. Oh, he's even too tired for that.